All right, today I am attempting to make the sea bass that I have been smoke grilling at home with Tommy in my friend's oven in Arizona. No one out here had a charcoal grill for me to use, and so here I am. We're gonna see what the oven can do. So right now on the sea bass there, there are two pounds of sea bass. The brown that you see is soy sauce. And it has been resting in the soy sauce for about 35 minutes now. An hour is suggested. I've never actually used an hour, and it always comes out just fine. Uh, <clears throat> the uh, whitish, yellowish pieces you see on top are butter. I cut them off of the stick a piece at a time, and then just placed it with my fingers. Here in this cup, I have the seasonings that I use to make this dish. A friend of mine happened to have everything I needed in her cabinet, and so she was wonderful enough to let me take a tablespoon of this and a tablespoon of that, so I don't have to go to the store to buy all of the seasonings, because I forgot mine at home. Oh, At home, <clears throat> Tommy had requested this specific seasoning so frequently that I finally just made up a bunch of Ziploc baggies of the seasoning so that I didn't have to mix all, I think it's 12 ingredients in the meantime. Uh, let's see, so in here we're looking at paprika, cinnamon, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, pink Himalayan salt, cayenne, uh, crushed red pepper flakes, dill seed, that might be it. <laughs> I'll have a list typed up at the bottom of the screen, no worries. So here's where I'm going to get a little dirty in a moment, but for now I can just sprinkle. Uh, but when it comes time to put the seasoning on the sides of the fish, I will definitely be getting my hands dirty because it is worth it. Alright, putting the seasoning in a Dixie cup was not uh, the most finger efficient thought. It definitely worked for the time being, but just so you can see, it's a little inconvenient. If you thought you were going to take any tips from what you saw me doing, don't take that one. <clears throat> it's looking pretty darn amazing. Okay, I didn't quite care <clears throat> uh, for the texture on the outside of the sea bass. I wanted it crispier than it was. It was very uh, buttery and soft and wonderful, which is nice. And I wanted it a little flaky. So I broiled it, and now let's check the flake on it. Ooh, it's a lovely flake. Let's try a little piece. Oh, not that piece. Hmm. 
palm. That's perfection.